There's a play that you can run as the serving team that can score you four to five easy points a game. And you don't have to get up to the kitchen line and grind it out. Stick around and I'll tell you how to do it. So I'm a big believer that to be dominant on the pickleball court, we need to be applying pressure as much as you possibly can. Historically, we've been taught that as the serving team, the receivers have the advantage. So we gotta play it safe, we gotta play it defensive, we gotta be passive until we can get to that kitchen line. Now that's not bad advice, but if you have that mindset, you may be missing out on potential opportunities. So today, we're gonna flip the mindset. So let's dive right in. So I call this play the one-two punch, and obviously there's two parts to it. First we got the setup, then we got the knockout. So let me break it down for you. So for the setup of this play, we're gonna need to use our serve. And the main idea is we're trying to get our serve to cause our opponents to be late to the kitchen line. And there's a couple ways that you can do that. Number one, and one of the easiest ways, is just power and depth. If you can hit a serve that's deep in the court, with a heavy, lot of spin, a lot of power. A lot of times what our opponents are gonna have to do is they're gonna have to take a step back first before they can get their forward momentum going to the kitchen line. And that's gonna cause them to be that maybe step or two late to the kitchen. The other scenario is if we know our opponents are unwinding the stack, then we're gonna wanna learn to serve wide because again, we want them going away from where they want to be. So if I know my opponent has to cross the court, I'm gonna to try to serve them wide, get him moving the opposite direction. So then they gotta change momentum and try to get back to their spot quickly. Okay, so now that we tried to set up the play, the next step is to assess and see if our setup actually worked. And we need one thing to make this play run, but if we had two, that would be great. So that one thing that we absolutely need is we need our opponent a step or two late to the kitchen line. If they're still in that transition area, then it's game on, we're going to, to part two, which is the knockout. Even better would be if they're late to the kitchen line and they gave us a little bit of a short return. That would really be, okay, we're going full force on this. If they're getting all the way to the kitchen line in time, then you call it off. We're not running this play. We're just gonna go with your normal drop or whatever kind of strategy you use to get to the kitchen line. Okay, so you got the setup that we want. So now it's time to go for the knockout. So we gotta do two things to make this work. Number one, you're gonna try to attack the ball with your feet. And by that I mean when that, ball's come, when that return's coming over at you, rather than just let it get to you, I want you to really move at it and take it early, okay? So this is gonna take away some of our opponent's time and give us a better chance that we actually catch them in that transition area. The second, and this is a big one, is what we call a drop-drive hybrid. So a drop-drive hybrid, you can think of two ways. You can either think of it uh, as a softer, spinnier drive, or you could think of it as a more aggressive drop. Either way, our goal is to get a lot of spin on it, keep the shot fairly aggressive, keep it low over the net, and try to get it landing right at the feet of our opponents. That's the key. If you can get it landing at the feet, now they gotta hit up on the next ball, and we're gonna be crashing in and we can finish that point off. If you drive it hard, they're gonna be able to take that next ball and hit it hard back at you, and then we really haven't gained anything. So my buddy Zane has a great video on the drop drive hybrid. I'm gonna link that below, so make sure to check that out if you wanna get some more in-depth on how to actually execute that shot. I wanna give a quick shout out to Selkirk for not only supporting me as a player, but supporting my YouTube videos as well. Lately, I've been using this Power Air, which is an awesome paddle. Super poppy, great spin, really maneuverable and fast. If you wanna see this or anything else that they have, check out the website and make sure to use my code to get a free gift card with your purchase. So now we know what the play is. We know how we're gonna run it, but now how do we practice it? First, we're gonna focus on the serve. 
pretty simple. The great thing about practicing your serve is you don't need anyone to do it. It's really easy here. We're gonna grab some cones. We're gonna put them out where we want our targets are, either deep in the court or wide in the court, depending on our situation. And then we're just gonna go after it. See if you can hit that target with good power, good depth, good height, good spin. And then over and over and over again. Next, we're gonna tackle that drive drop combo. And you can do this in a couple ways. Number one, you can use a ball machine. I have my Titan ball machine, which I absolutely love. The nice thing about that is I can set it up to not only practice this one shot, but actually a combo of shots. So a lot of times what I'll have it do is feed me a little short ball so I can move in. I'll have to hit my hybrid shot and then I'm gonna follow that in and actually hit a second volley behind that. So if you have your own Titan ball machine and you want the QR code to do this drill for yourself, here it is up on the screen. If you don't have a Titan yet and you wanna learn more about it or check it out, I've got a link in the description below and you'll get $100 off your purchase. So your other option would be grab your drill partner or playing partner and practice this with them. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at a couple of points where you can see this play in action. So I'm just gonna play this live first and then we'll back it up and break down what's going on. So let's break this down in a little more detail. First, we have Zane serving here. Anytime I'm playing with Zane and he's serving, this play is kind of in the back of my mind because you know he usually sends his serve and goes after it pretty big. So a lot of times this will be set up. So as we roll this forward, you can see it's a decent serve, not super deep, but it is kind of heading out wide. But the key here is if you look at Ryan over here, his first step was to his right. And we know as a team that he's gonna have to unstack and get all the way back to his left side. So for us, this is kind of a green light look where we're seeing, okay, he's moving the opposite direction of where he needs to eventually get to. So he hits a pretty decent depth return. Maybe it's, it's a little short and you can see right away, I'm seeing that it's short and I'm starting to like attack it, really move forward with it. And now if we pause it here, you can see at my contact point, we have Ryan here in transition, which means I am looking to take my shot over here. I see all this open space. And again, I don't want to hit it hard because Ryan's going to close that space and he could volley it. So I'm going to try to hit this medium pace with some spin, and try to get this ball to land right on the kitchen line or maybe just behind it. So we roll it forward. You can see the ball pretty much does exactly what I want. Ryan gets there in time, but now he's hitting the ball from his feet. He really has no choice but to play defensively. And Zane and I have kind of seen this and, and moved up in the court, pretty much taken all the space away. So he has to play a pretty passive shot. And now we're kind of in an offensive mindset right away. We're looking to kind of keep the attack on and keep the pressure on these guys. So I pulled the trigger right away, jam up Stefan a little bit. And right away, there's a quick three shot pattern where we went from defense starting the point with as the serving team to taking offense right away and winning it thanks for watching if you like the content it really helps out the video if you could like comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next one